You might need a theme song for your shit. Check this out. Hey, turn this out. Right, right, Let this shit right, seep right. in. JackThriller.com. We creep in. Snoop Dogg to the left. Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com. Do it all night. Hit the website. Hit us up real quick. If you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. And we're back. Come on. New Jack Thriller City, man. Yo, third season. Hey, and it's about the crew today, man. All the co-hosts. Yo, uh, check this out. DJ Samo, man. How you feeling? You good over there? Great. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Yo, uh, 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 little Playboy, how you feeling over there? Hey, man, I feel amazing, man. It feel good to be back. Uh, yo, Erica Duchess, <laughs> where you at, girl? I'm here, Jack. Thank you again for having me, man. I love you. GG McGuire. <laughs> Come hey. on. Show me the money. Period. I am full of greatness and gratuity, okay? Gratefulness, I'm sorry. Let's go, mm. man. So we just touching on them topics, man, that we've been uh, doing observations on this year, man. Let's go kick it off with, hey, w when is it time to kick your kid out? Because we got a lot of grown-ass kids still <laughs> living with us and whatnot, you know? Ooh. And I think it's more of an up-north epidemic, or is it, um, it's a world thing. W what's your observations? Uh, with me, you know, you know, I have three kids. I okay. have two boys and one girl. Okay. Shout out to my kiddos. Same. I got the best kids in the world. It's just that, you know, I, I think these kids that we're raising, we're raising them to the standard that they don't have to go through the things that we went through, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we making our we making their path a little easier than ours. Uh, okay. You you see what I'm saying? I see so what you're doing. All right. so with my and me knowing when I left my mama um house, you how know, old was you? Oh, I was about fifteen when I jumped off the porch. I was fifteen, no lie, no cap. You know, my mama left and went to Detroit, Michigan, for you know whatever reason she was on. But I wasn't going to no Detroit. But what up though? <laughs> 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 but um, but you know, uh, we we made our path, we made their path a little easier. So with me having two boys, you know, and a little girl. Like my one of my son, he went to the army, you know. I love it. Yeah, love I love it too. He went to Augusta. Then I got my baby boy. Then I got my baby girl. And then my baby girl, you know, she's still under my roof. But with my baby boy, since life was so easy for him, you know, and I know at seven when I was 17 and 18, I didn't know shit. I thought I did. But if I would have had that, if I would have had somebody to like guide me and and shell me. You know, I, but I didn't have no parents at that age. But my son do. But I know at 17 to 18, you know, people, I don't know why black people, we want to kick out. Oh, he 18, he grown. He 21, he grown, put them on their own. No, I didn't do that. You know, I was like, no, nah, they don't know nothing. We think we know. But you don't know shit at no damn 17. But can they be Can they be raised to know shit? Yeah, you be raised to know. But being out here in this world, this is a whole different ball game from when in your mama house. This is a different whole new world. This is a big world out here. So I I was kind of um um lean lenient on my son, you know, and I let him stay a little bit. You think that helped? He, huh? You think that helped? It you know what? No, it did not. So I had to rise up as a mother, you know, who, you know, as a mother, we love our children, we we nurturing, we we loving, we love on the boys hard for some reason. But I knew I was crippling my son. So at 23 and 24, I was like, because he wasn't keeping no job long. And why would he? He stayed with his mama. He don't really got no big responsibilities. So it like he'll keep a job four, five months and just be in my house playing the game all day. But I knew what I had to do. I had I didn't put him out, but I said, hey. But life, like I always tell my kids, sometimes life will come with some things. Don't let life catch up with you. If that means, be, prepare yourself for life challenges, if that makes sense. No, it make too much Cause, sense. Because certain things may occur in life, what may, what, and it may force you to be a certain type of way. Like with me, I had a baby early, so it forced me to be a uh, adult. What's young. early? What's early? Yeah, I was about to oh, ask I was that same question. I was a mom at 16. I mean, yeah, about 16, 17. Okay. I, had I was my, 17. Had my, my, baby, first my first baby mom was, was 15. Huh? She had my daughter. Yeah, my daughter's 17, and I damn know, looking at her, I was like, I ain't my, my have no mom was 15. have no baby at no 17. I look at my 17-year-old. She is a fucking child. She don't know nothing. Same thing with me, but I was forced to be that way because of life. You know, so with my son, I told him, don't let life 
force you to be the person that you already need to be. You already need to be. So life, some th life things happen that forced me to make him go live with his brother. You see what I'm saying? He had to go. He had to go down there with his brother. You know because these rent is twenty two hundred dollars in they Atlanta. Not, they not playing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not finna go out my way to get no three bedroom for you no more. You you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And your brother got a house down there, and you need to be down there working because all all I'm gonna do is cripple you. So in and, and that standpoint. And especially. Oh, we we get we that would be another subject. Okay. As a yeah. mother, taking accountability of yourself being an enabler is a huge feat. And I just want to congratulate you on that because oh, I actually you. had to do the same thing recently. My daughter is 27 and um she went to college in New York and after school she decided that she wanted to live in New York and she spent six years total in New York. She just came back here to Atlanta to live with me. Um, last April. And when I tell you I treat that child like she's 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At 27. Mm -hmm. So um, it just came to the point where I had to put my foot down. I had to, in fact, realize as a mother that I was actually being a neighbor yeah. to my child. And at, what, at what point did you realize that? It was the point to what, where... What was that line? That, that, that The straw that broke the camel's back? The straw that broke the camel's back is that I... By profession, she is a director. She went to the School of Visual Arts for uh, film and photography in New York City. And so um, she does music videos and, you know, all types of projects. And she does a lot of time editing. And, you know, she does um, cover art and all types of, you know, all types of stuff to, within that field. I asked her to do something for me and she did not do it. <laughs> if, if you don't that actually six months later I'm still waiting for it oh wow, wow. okay there it is so at this wait wait point, was it something in that field like cover yes. art for you or video for you yes type? yes oh, yes, okay. yes 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 I, I, I created a, I, I have a project that I'm working on clearly I'm still working on it and I asked my daughter to do an edit for me of wow. this project and um, six months later, I'm still asking for it. I actually, I just got back in town uh, last night, and it's supposed to be done now. So when I leave here, we're going to see if it's done or not. She, I will she takes you for granted. I'm going to put it in, te in a group chat to let y'all know if I actually got my project <laughs> today, because today is the day that it should be done. Wow. Yes, she takes me for granted. Not to mention, I've never been to goddamn college a day in my life, and I got $90,000 worth of student loans on my credit for this same career that you are working on. And, you, and I'm taking care of your every need. I'm talking about feeding you, doing everything for you. And 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 I can't get my my shit. I feel like that's a little different. Well, she definitely should give you your stuff, but the fact that she too busy she, working on everything else and don't have time. But also, to look, you gotta look at the the gap, right? Uh, she left the nest early though, went to school, and then you said she lived in New York for six years. She lived in New York by herself six years. So on her own. she came back for a reason, and you know everything happens for a reason. So for whatever reason for her to come back now, you know it's just you know a little hurdle that she's gonna have to jump over ain't like she's gonna be with you forever how long you said a year right april it's been this april it's going on a year yeah. but why but it's about oh, 10 months. Why, why mom can't be priority at this particular point Hello? if she rested her up the, here's my thing she just she's not interested in the project so it's oh. not important to her <laughs> so she just don't she just taking her sweet time getting it done it's important to me what's she in, what's she interested in she's and, interested in everything else that she's doing that clearly is did did you she, ask did you ask for the mama discount or you gave her pay her for the service or you said oh, since you living for me for free i ain't paying yeah, you nothing that's how you paying you i'm go, i'm going to pay her when we make some money off of it but we ain't we can't make no money off of it if it ain't done yet she back in okay got it so or does she even believe in your project? I don't know what it is, but at the end of the day, I had to put my foot down and realize What's that I was your being foot an down? enabler. So, so that I, 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 I snapped on her and I just told her that moving forward, some things is going to change. Oh, so, so is that the only that's reason the you feel like you're um, enabling her? No, that's not that the only reason. I understand she that she came back at a time of transition. Okay. And I let me tell you something. I had her at seventeen. My mother put me out when she was five months old. When she was two years old, the man that I was with attempted to take my life. Mm -hmm. And I came back to my mother's house with my two-year-old child with the clothes on my back. And I'm sorry, she was, she was three at the time. With the clothes on my back and an adapter bag for her. That's all I had, right? My mother told me that I could, I had 48 hours to find somewhere else to stay. I didn't even stay 48 minutes. Now, I would never do that to my child, you know? Wow. Mm -hmm. um, my child, I, I've always... 
I, I've always had a, a space for my child in every single home that I've been in. Whether this is a two bedroom apartment or a five bedroom house, I have a space for my child. My child will always have a room and a and a and a space to come home to to you know with me. I, I went through that with my mother where I couldn't go home, and I will never deny my child to be able to come home. But at the end of the day, we're going to put a time limit on you laying around playing the game all day <laughs> wow. and working on everything else that you working on that ain't being productive to what I need you to do. Wow. Because if I'm paying all the bills and I'm cooking all the meals and I'm and I'm providing little $40 here, $100 there when, you know what I'm saying, you need something, then the least you could do is something that ain't going to cost you nothing but a little bit of time. And this is something that you already do. I'm not asking you to... To do something that you're not already accustomed to doing that you're doing anyway. I'm just asking you to do something for me real quick. Six months later, we still waiting on it, y'all. So I, I'll keep y'all updated. Six, six months? Oh, six months. We filmed in September. She ain't fucking with you. We man. filmed in September. What is it now? February? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm proud of it because there's some kids that will stay with their mom all the way till they're 27, don't go to college, don't get no degree. Don't have the experience of living on their own and might be fucking up or whatever the situation might Listen, be and I'm have to come back. Home. I ain't no grandmama because I, I ain't, I'm still. That's good, man. I ain't no, got you time did to good. Babysit. I think you're good. I think you're doing good. I'm so, not no grandmama either, and I'm so glad because. And you got boys. Yeah, I got boys and one girl, and I and my boys are handsome. You hear me? I ain't just saying it because they mine. I got some good looking young men. You hear okay. me? The, the, the older one that down there, you know, he in the army, so he be. Missing yeah. all kind of different color, culture, and <laughs> women and shit. Yeah. That nigga, did, that little dick been up through that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I be telling y'all got to not be slacking down there because you Erica Dutch's son. And I don't want nobody be like, oh, Erica Dutch's son, dick ain't now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't have that reputation. Ooh. But they are doing so good, it's, it's pulling out. You know, because I really want to be a rich grandmama. I want to be... I, I, I'm telling you, no lie, no care. I dream about making a life better for my grandkids. You know, because us parents, we might not got it right with our children. You know, but with them grandkids, we, we, get, another, get, right. we get another opportunity. Yeah. So that's really my... For, I'm doing what I'm doing now for some kids. I don't even got them. <laughs> kids ain't even here yet. I, they ain't even here yet, but I'm making a, 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 a legacy. I'm building all what I'm building with my name, my brand, for them. For them. Really for them. Yes, man. You know, no lie, no cap. But I still, they got to wait. Still continue to pull out, son, because <laughs> their grandma yet. machine is still a little ways <laughs> to go. But I can't complain. It's Jack Beauty of the Week, man, hosted by my boy, Moneybag Mafia. Money Let's bag. get it! Hey, beautiful. Hi. Hey, look at you looking all elegant and Thank stuff you. like that. Yes, I ain't even had to tell her to turn around. <laughs> yeah, she fine. Huh? Thank yeah. you. Let the people she know fine. who you is and where you're from. Hey, y'all. My name is Christy. Mm. I am... I was born in Haiti. Yes. Oh, wow. I moved to Florida Stop when I was say. little. Stop Stop say. Stop 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 get you know to my mom <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> What is this Momo? Hey, hey, what, what he say? Get that get way. What, 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 hey, Chrissy, what he say? What Suck he, your mother. Suck your oh, mother. my God. Money back. Yeah, I know yeah. a little song. Yeah, oh, shit. Hates, yeah, my bad, man. I work in HR. I'm also a bottle girl, and I do hair and makeup. Oh, yeah. some gr- they some grinders, D-Day. Yeah. Yeah. Give it up for the black women yeah. so far. With that a job. Getting their money. She, she yes, got a job. Uh, you single? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Do oh. almost spin around for the Come on, niggas Chrissy. out there like me that want to Come on, Chrissy. Like. Yeah, girl. Oh. oh. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. <laughs> so we got three questions for you today. Some of them are might be sexual or some of them might be regular. Uh-uh. So okay. we need your authentic answer. How old are you? I'm 23. 23. Oh, wow. Hear yeah. from a young you day. may you know be saying? young. All right, this is a good question because a lot of women don't do this and then they wonder why they get cheated on. Mm. Mm. How do you initiate sex? Oh my God. Boom, there I said it. Yeah, you did. A lot of women don't initiate sex. This is crazy. Um, Eye contact. Wow. I just gotta give you that look, like, just know what's up, yeah. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's fucking boring. Hey, I'm blind, so you gotta tell me what right, you're gonna have to lick Yeah, you gotta tell me. Head. I'll be standing yeah, there the I'm whole time. <laughs> Jack gotta run his head through some of the tracks. He gotta go through her tracks and be like, oh yeah, it took you three hours to get this done. <laughs> Next question is you're guaranteed you're guaranteed to make me climax when you don't make eye contact. That ain't gonna be it. <laughs> no, ear kisses. Ear kisses? 
It's 2024. You better eat some ass out this motherfucker, yeah! man. Oh. <laughs> you better get it in. You do oh. shit. Is that like what with, gets you? Huh? Is that what gets you? Hey, look, we ain't talking about me. This about that you, what, <laughs> that, that, that would get me. That would get me, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Must be two sides. Here, kisses. Give me one more thing. Because, you know, you, I understand you're young. You ain't been out here yet. You ain't needed your rent paid Oh, yeah. Yet. Come on now. <laughs> I mean, of course, oral. Head, head like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she call it oral. Head like that. She, she call it oral. Oral, right? <laughs> you supposed so to be cute. sucking some dick. That's what you say. <laughs> when I suck that dick. Oral. Right. How do you feel about your significant other posting you on their social media? Um, I don't mind. I don't know why some people do. If we're together, we're together. You know. If we gotta hide, then. Yeah, nah, she would cheat on your ass. Yeah. You would cheat, and, 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 and yeah, that, that I don't mind. What woman don't want? I don't mind. Shit? I don't mind. But it's not like it's not like a must, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna trip on it. It is what it is. So you don't post some nigga on your shit, folks. No. <laughs> She'll cheat on your ass. You oh, see yeah, what I'm saying? 100. Thank you for coming through with these uh, <clears throat> PG 13 ass answers. But you look good giving them. Yes, it is. Tell you that. She's tell sneaky. The, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell the people where to find you. All right, y'all can follow me on Instagram at Marie underscore underscore dot G. And again, the name's Christy. Thank you, Christy. I really can't complain. I love my children. Playboy, where you at with enabling kids? And when is it too early or too late to put them out? I think... um, we all enable our kids by default, and so a lot of times we don't even know we're doing it. You might tie your four-year-old's shoe at four years old, but he should have been tying his own shoe at three years old, you know what I mean? Or, But that's just my opinion. Somebody might be like, oh, no, I tied my kid's shoe till they were 10. You know, it's just certain things we all enable our kids, ways that we don't even know it. Um, when it comes to an actual age, man, it just depends on the child. It depends on the child, realistically. Um, my oldest is 17, but I got a niece that's 21. I seen her move in and out of my sister's house multiple times because she wasn't ready, but she wanted to leave. My sister let her go. My opinion is you should not have let her leave because she wasn't ready. She went, moved the buckhead, crashed out, and then came back home. It, you just wasn't ready yet. So I think when you know your child is ready to move out, then let them go out. You know what I mean? But... A cap on it, I ain't letting no kid that's 24 years old, 25 years old living with me. Unless you already moved out and you're coming back home and you need help. But, like, I'm not raising you till you're 21, 22, 23, 25. Nah, that's 24 is definitely a cap on in my standards because you're not about to be in my house eating up all my food, getting more pussy than me, driving my cars, <laughs> uh, using my cable bill to... Uh, you know, just do what it, the watch porn and all kind of other grown adult shit that you want to do. Sit around and play. Nah, I ain't doing that. Okay. And then you also got to remember, Jack, remember we was young when we first started getting to that bread. Realistically, I moved out of my mom's house straight out of college. I mean, straight out of high school. I went straight to college. I knew that I did not want to uh, keep living at my mom's house. So I went to school and lived in an apartment off campus by my school. And then that's when we blew up with the music shit. And then next thing you know, uh, I had my own little situation, but I also did go back to my mom's house uh, at one point because I needed help. She needed help. But that's why I said, always be there for your kid. If they need help, then go back. But once I got 100% where I need to be, I ain't never went back since. So what I'm, I'm going to ask, at 24, like just hypothetically speaking, like your oldest is 17, let's say she is, you see her maturity. It's a maturity thing. Let's say you see her at 24 and she not mature enough to go out there like that she ain't and you see that are you going to put her out nah well at 24 right if my daughter is still well I'm going to say this first of all at 21 if my daughter ain't enrolled in college I'm about to make her enroll in the military if she ain't enrolled in the military you need to go find you a a rich ball player somebody to take care of you whatever the hell you want to find chase your dreams you need to go do it somewhere else because I ain't finna be doing it. But what if she don't want to do that? She, I'm just asking. She's going to have to stay with her mama, her grandma, find somebody. I, I feel like a hard ass ain't going to come until they fall. You understand what I'm saying? Like sometimes we got to let them walk 
and fall off, brush they. I ain't gonna let her be sleeping no shelter, of course. Right, right, right. You understand right. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm gonna push this narrative on her. Go to school. Yeah. Go to college. Go to a tech school. Go to a junior college. Do something to where you could, even even if she had a job, right? If my daughter had a job and she need help paying her own rent and she didn't want no roommate, I will go half with on her rent before I let her live with me. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Your rent, living in a one-bedroom in Atlanta, what, 1300 I'll give my daughter $600 a month because mm-hmm. I give her that now anyways. But it's just I want her to be able to, I would, not permanently, but I would help her out temporarily, yeah. maybe like for the first year till she get on her feet and move how she need to move at that age. I don't think that me being the grown man that I am and moving the way I want to move, Walking around the house cooking eggs in the morning in my drawers and shit. My 24-year-old daughter don't need to be seeing me that. She ain't nine years old, eight years old, seven years, excuse me, seven years old no more. You know what I mean? Uh, if I have a woman come stay tonight, it's uncomfortable with a 24-year-old daughter in your house. You know what I mean? I, she's not finna be in my house at 24, no. We, we, and my sons at the same time. No, I don't want them there either. I want my sons to kind of take the same path that I took. You know what I mean? Go to school. If it work out, you get a degree, cool. Uh, get a good job, whatever. Or be an entrepreneur. I did the same shit. I dropped out of college to be an entrepreneur and it worked for me. You know what I mean? So I want them to do that same thing, but at least experience uh, the opportunities you have in front of you. I think school is the best uh, thing for, well, college, I should say, for a young teen introduction into adulthood because it gives you that freedom of living without your parents, being in your own home and your bills ain't too high because, of course, you might not be paying for everything out of pocket right now. You might have some student loans you got to pay 20 years from now. But for the most part, between grants, scholarships, and student loans, you don't got to worry about no money. All your latri- You ain't got no Georgia Power bill. You ain't got no Comcast bill. You ain't got no Georgia gas. All that shit is paid for, whether you got to pay for it now or through that scholarship. Take your ass to school. Figure it out. If you drop out, cool. If not, then... Uh, you know, figure whatever it is you got to figure out so that you don't have to come back here. If you do got to come back here, I got your back, but you ain't coming back at, you know, 27 and staying until you're 33. You know what I mean? 27, mm-hmm. all right, 28, hey, babe. They got to um, figure it out. Now, I will say she has income. been some help, okay? Okay. Because I have small dogs. I yeah. travel all the time. I travel to New York from Atlanta three times a month to film my podcast. Yeah. So just in that aspect, she's dropping me off at the airport. I'm no longer having to pay $20 a night for parking. Parking. You know, um, she can cook. She, I'll make her clean. I have to make her, but she'll clean. Um, getting packages, running errands. I might not feel like going to the grocery store. I don't want to pay for the Instacart. I make, you know, it's little shit like that that she well, does. Well, she, if they add a value, with. it's a difference. She does help me. But at the same time, you I'm need not. That. I'm not going to... I need my project for one. Yeah. <laughs> and for two, for two um, I'm not going to be that enabling mom to allow her to get too comfortable and think that this is going to roll over into some years because we're not doing that. Point blank, period. Yeah. It's, 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 it's I love something, my baby, man. I mean, even though, like I was saying, I my son is staying with my oldest son, I still pay... Oh, both of your boys live together. Yeah, both yeah. Of my my boys down there in Augusta. Well, they they out there, got them thugging it out. I yeah, they are. But, but they working, you know, it's they work. <laughs> Every night. It, it, it's Let me tell you, me and, when me and my brother live together. <laughs> they working. But it, I still pay his bill, his phone bill. <laughs> but but it, I'm, I'm, I'm a little different. But this is what I do this for, this lifestyle that I'm living. I really do it for them. To be honest with you, even though my kid is grown, but if he need help with his, my son may call me like, Mom, I need $300. I feel so good that I'm able yeah. to do that for them. Same. Do you give them that lecture? I what do. What happened to your money? Why yeah. you need $300? Yeah, yeah. Or you just giving them money? No, 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 no. See, that's the difference between enabling right. them too. Right. Because you can still help, but if you help blindlessly. My sons will tell you, they be so, like, so... Not scared, but so hesitant to ask me because they don't want to hear my mouth. Cause I'm like, God damn, nigga, I thought you were working there and I got all them holes and shit. That's they mama, that's me, or whatnot. But I, they know I'm still gonna look out for them. But that what makes me feel good because it was a time, it was a time that I couldn't do that. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do that. Shit used to make me feel like so less than that. I couldn't help these kids. 
You know, and I had all my kids at different times of my life. Like the um, the oldest one, he was with me through the struggle. He was with the child that was with me when I slept in a car with him for about three, four months. He was the child that well, I was with when I first got my first apartment. He was just my struggle child. So he seen me elevate to something new with these kids. So with my baby girl, they like, she got it made. You got Erica Dutchess. We had goddamn nine to five, mama. You know what I'm saying? Right. So they, but I'm so blessed that they understand that my life changed. You know, I, I feel bad that sometimes we have our family ther- therapy sessions with my children. My son was like, I just wish I could have um, did karate, mama. But I, I couldn't afford that. What, was he getting his ass whooped in school? You know what I'm saying? No, nah, he just wanted to do karate because oh. he just loved it. He, the nigga was a Power Ranger until he was 12. Okay. Well, he wanted them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Most I just love that about him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my old, my baby, my baby boy, he got somewhat of the good mama too, the nine to five mama. He got that good mama too because I was able to buy him the tennis shoe that he wanted. And boop, boop, boop. Now my little girl, she got the, the celebrity mom. So it, it's so it's different, but I I explain we have these com I have these com- I look this is the best thing ever I advise every parent in the world to what we doing right here we have a part this podcast have these same conversation with your kids. with your children yes and and us parents this like where well, how I grew up we don't talk back to our mamas and we don't question nothing they say we just my mama like my mama you say you do as I say not as I do. But I switched it. I want to hear where I'm slacking it. I'm not afraid to let them voice their opinion of what they don't like about me. You, you know what I'm saying? And it helped. Me and my, you know, me and my kid, we, we got a real good relationship and I love it to death. And sometimes I still get mad because you don't be want to hear that shit from your kid. But you be like, damn. You know, growing up, I wish I could have told my mama what she was slacking at with me. You know, why you... I had about six, seven goddamn stepdads. I ain't like none of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you don't let these niggas come in. These niggas don't know what we've been through. You don't let these niggas come in and tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like that shit. That nigga ain't my daddy. That's her daddy. And his daddy. They ain't my goddamn daddy. You know, so I just learned from just life. You know, when you got to pay attention to life, and not be in denial or you're wrong and be accountable for, you know, what you slack in. And I still, I, my kids, I ain't no perfect mama. I know they still can be like, it going to be some things they going to do with their kids that I didn't do with them. And that's just how life is, you know. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. You know, I didn't, I can't say I got it right or I did everything the right way because they, they have come, I don't walk in on them niggas talking about me. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. What they were saying. You know, like, was it yeah, yeah. a good or bad thing? She, she over there, goddamn, I always want to goddamn be fussing about this, but she don't goddamn be doing this. You know that? They were just in there, in that little girl. Yeah. Oh, she was the ringleader. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> mama ain't shit. Oh, mama ain't shit. All she want to do is go to them little goddamn comedy show like she ain't got no goddamn kid. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, she said that. Now, why are you saying they asked to college bitch. or yeah. to the military at 18? Military. One went to the military. The baby boy went to go college. Go to college or go to the military. Yeah. Right Follow now. that me in four years. I'm going Let's through that now with my with baby now. girl. She, she thinking about being a national guard. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That, but, okay. But, Clap for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She looking at the benefits and stuff or like that. Or go, if you don't want to go to college or the military, go get you a job. Okay. Pay your own bills. Pay your own bills. Yeah, them kids were talking about my ass. I was like, listen to these motherfuckers. Oh, that, ungrateful you ass. You just stayed there and you, 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 you found out what your kids really yeah, thought about Yeah, yeah. I, I was like, God. Were you sitting there listening the whole I'm time? I was listening the whole time. And it How was long the, was this conversation? About 20, 30 minutes. So you God, listened for 20 dang. minutes and, and then no bust in. No lie, no lie, no cap. I was in the first four, four minutes. Four minutes. They was in there drilling my ass. She don't even cook no more. <laughs> she, think, she think I'm supposed to get, she think she got some maize in this bitch. Yeah. She think she got some maize in, in this, this bitch. bitch. In this bitch. In this bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, she think she got some maize in this bitch. Calling me, telling me to clean up her room and her closet and shit. <laughs> Wait, you make your kids clean up your closet? Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Hey, oh, yeah, you was wrong for that. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, what? Time out, time out. Playboy. Hold on. I, I, 
because this leads to my next uh, uh, question. <laughs> Are we raising our kids to be good wives and husbands? Mm-hmm. Would you be cool with dating your kids? When I say dating your kids, I'm saying somebody, you, you, you make it my ideal person because that's what you were lacking when you were inside, when you were inside the scene. Does that make sense? Uh, Y'all following I can, me? I can't speak on my sons, uh, but as far as my <laughs> daughter was, I wouldn't date my daughter. She's too much like her mama. And I don't even think it's nothing that she's raised with. I think that's something that's just in her. Genetics. Yeah. It, yes. it, it, and it got a lot to do with her being raised, too, because I, my daughter, my daughter's so hard, man. Damn. And it scares me. I hate it. Look, I got married, right? I was on, you know, I got married for about three, four months or some shit, right? Damn. You beat me. Y yeah. I was six. <laughs> really was six. Months. But look, though. Months. Married. Months. I was married about six months. Yeah, I was engaged for 65 days. Damn. That's a long but, time. You but I wanted my little girl to see that soft side of me, right? But when my little girl seen me, like, cook for the nigga and, and um, take him his plate, my, my little girl was like, shit, where they do that at? <laughs> Round here. She like, where they do that at? Oh. She was like, looking at me How like, How old she had this on? Man, she was looking at me like, bitch, you lame as fuck. What was her age? She was like 15. Oh, yeah. She was 15 then. That's why. <laughs> New niggas. That's why. Yeah, so I was like, I really want her to see a soft side of me. A and wife side. back to what we were saying earlier. A wife earlier side. About. Submissive side. That submissive. And I tell her that. I say. Feminine. I, I, I tell my daughter that. I say, look, shawty. You're a little bit too hard. Don't be this hard. You need to learn how to, to listen to... I'm trying to teach her the shit that ain't nobody never taught me. My mama raised us on our own. So, that, of course, I got that shit in me to be who I am. But you got to learn how to, to break those traditional curses. Mm -hmm. I don't want her to be this hard. And then she got two brothers. Yeah. So, shawty is... Man, she is tough. And then she cute. You know, she got a little... She bigger than me. She got a daddy them shape. You know what I'm saying? So she thick and stuff like that. I be like, look. Learn how to be quiet and learn how to listen to a man. Shit the fuck up. <laughs> but she, she hear her mama on the phone with a nigga. Oh, lame ass nigga. Oh, fuck ass lame ass. Dick in a boot ass nigga. <laughs> and it's so not good. But I do. I do tell her. Please don't be nothing like me. Don't be like me. I'm fucked up. I might be this bitch 75 by myself. Mm. I might be by myself at 75 years old. You gotta I, find one of them hood niggas that like that I shit. know I'm fucked up. No, they they really, that's all I be really dealing with. But they can't, they don't like that shit either. Not like that. Especially when a hood nigga don't have a grow up man. with a Get mama like me. They don't want that shit. No, they don't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't date. You, you see what I'm saying? My, they don't want that. My mama by herself, she's 70 right now because of that bullshit. I already she know. She played the hand out too long. The telling, 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 telling. She was married for 27 years, but she would not do what that nigga told her to do. And now me and my brother got to take care of her. Yeah, yeah. That's that going to be me. But I pray it don't be me. But I just know me, in which I, though I say I need to go through therapy. I need, I, I know I need therapy. Yeah, I'm fucked up in a lot of different types of ways. Hey, uh, Gigi, are you raising a wife? I am raising a wife. Um, I, my daughter is very much domesticated. She's very much, you know, can cook, can clean. I actually had the flu for Thanksgiving, and she took over and cooked Thanksgiving mm. dinner while I was in bed. Okay. I remember yeah. you said you, uh, when you was here, you said y'all was doing this big Thanksgiving uh, thing. Okay. Everybody was coming to your house. And guess what? So, it My daughter and, took and over I, everything. they ended up cooking because wow. I was in the bed. Yeah, That's dope. I supervised from the bed, but uh, she really cooked things. They cooked Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. You 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 killing it, Gigi. She's educated. That's bad. That's bad. And she is. Uh, she had. Well, I don't know what's going on with her boyfriend, but they was together for a long time since high school. If they're still together right now, they're at the 10-year mark. But you I don't did, know you're doing good, doing. GG. Um, the flip side of that coin is when it comes to her, thank you, when it comes to her being like me in so many ways, there's also so many ways that she's not like me. Okay. The whole um, domesticated, caregiving, know how to run a household thing, she definitely gets that from me. And in turn, I get that from my mother. Mm. But my daughter, we were she was eight when we moved here. 
Mm-hmm. And I started uh, working at Magic City immediately. Mm-hmm. So, like, literally, like, the day that I got here, I got hired at Magic City. So, um, she was raised in Atlanta with Gigi McGuire from Magic City as her mother. Mm-hmm. And by any means necessary, she does not want any of that. Mm. So she she like really honed into her tomboy side. She played a game, you know, she go to the range and she the only thing she's not a prissy girly girl. The only thing I got to worry about her stealing is my hoodies and and my sneakers. Like she's not into the makeup, she's not into the weave, she wear braids, but she's not like that way when it comes to it. I feel like she took the the part of that that she didn't want anything to do with it and ran as far as possible away from it. Gotcha. If you get what I'm saying. No, I'm, I'm, What's oh, your yeah. daughter's zodiac sign? She a Libra. A Libra. What's yours? What's your Gemini. A Gemini. Oh, oh yeah. y'all, yeah. y'all. Yeah. Scale. Yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah. Aquarius. Okay. So we yeah. all ask Aquamini, yes. Aquamini, we yeah. all yeah. ask yeah. my, uh, I'm a Sagittarius. Oh. But my daughter, see, my, my daughter's a, a, a Cancer uh-huh. and her mom's a Cancer. Okay. That's why I said they're too much alike. Both of them Cancers and then, of course, she grew up under her mom living with her so she acts 100% like her mom but then she'll call me with an argument that her and her mom went through. I'm like, yeah, Y'all Not both in the wrong, really, because y'all are the same right? thing. Both yeah. of y'all doing the same thing to each other. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's like, um, but um, when it comes to actually raising, you know, my son is 13 and 4. So, you know, as far as being a husband, I we can't really say I'm raising. We ain't got that far yet. Right. But, you know, I think my 14-year-old, he's definitely mature enough to be a good boyfriend or something like that to a young girl. You're on the right path. Yeah, he the captain of his basketball team. He's been the captain of his team two years in a row. Done broke records in DeKalb County, all kind of stuff like that, man. Like, my son is real popular on Instagram, especially, like, from his ball life. He get invited to all kind of um, just different OTE and uh, all-star, you know, uh, games and his league type, you know, so... I think that he's on the right path to potentially being the provider I want him to be, to being the respectful man I want him to be, being the, the um, you know, the leader and moving with integrity the way that I want him to move as a husband. So, But we ain't really talked down to like, oh, yeah, this is what you got to do for your wife. Because one, also, I ain't never been married either. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's hard to teach somebody how to be something that you ain't even been yet. So right. that's another thing on that side, but... I think that my sons will be okay. I think my daughter, she'll be good too. But that's just not my cup of tea as far as the way, you know, I don't know, cancers. But you, but you. Two but of my you. baby mamas is cancers and they didn't work out. And my daughter's a cancer. <laughs> but I got you a lot have of cancers time to around. save her though. Yeah. As a daddy because. What could he do? My daughter's spoiled, man. She get anything, everything she wants from me. It. And then but, that's the, but, what the problem is. But you got and that's why I be trying to cut the, cut the tie on it instead of. Always, whenever she asks for something, I give it to her. My daughter probably spend down there a hundred dollars a week on fucking uh, Uber, Eats. Uber Eats, and then another hundred dollars a week on DoorDash. Yeah. And then that's not even including the money that I'm giving her for her hair, her nails, and buying her clothes, Uggs, and and Pandora b- b- charms, and all this other shit that that's gets added up whenever. That's just a piece of that it. she just wants randomly out the day. So she makes good grades though, so, so that's why I spoil my children. So so right now you just showing her how. A man should be treat her, right? Yeah. I manage you. But the thing is, you, since you don't have the the experience of of, you know what I'm saying, of the worlds of her mama and you know what triggered you with her mom, you have the daddies have that conversation with her as for like I was saying with my little girl, please don't be like me or find a way to talk to her to be a little different as a want. You gotta tell her. That ain't how you talk to no man. That's not how you ask a man something. Because her mama already who she is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you, you a man, number one, and you her daddy. Well, you her daddy, number one, and then you a man. So she going to listen and take heed of that yep. a little differently. Yep. That's why I don't deprive my daughter of her relationship with her dad. Because he's teaching her shit, too. I'm like, I don't know how the world she get some money out of this nigga. I couldn't get shit <laughs> out this man. But if my daughter call him and she need $500, baby, you best believe he, he about to give it to her. So that's, that's why I say it's important for men to be in their daughter's life, man. Because yeah. y'all going to be the ones that teaches them to show them a little different. Because I, I know my daughter, I know she be telling me stuff that her daddy say. Oh, you get that shit from your mama now. You get that. Uh, she hit it. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, whatnot. So, 
they gonna know. You know what I'm saying? It gonna you have time to, to save her a little bit, if that makes sense. Yeah, one hundred percent. Are you raising husbands, uh, uh, Erica? I know I am. And look, I want to say this. I don't know if he going to ever see this. Charlie Wilson. Yes. I, that's thank my, you. I've been listening to that all day. Him all day. Charlie Wilson. Yeah. I love him to death. I don't know if I ever get a chance to meet him. Yes, you But will. maybe one day he would listen to this um, recording. I think Charlie Wilson. Listening to his music. Because I'm a female. Yeah. I don't know. How to be no man and teach no man how to be no woman. Mm -hmm. You know, treat a woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I used to um turn on that Charlie Wilson that when I'm cleaning up. Uh -huh. And I used to tell my boys, uh -huh. this how you need to treat a uh, woman right here. Hey, girl. How you doing? My name is Charlie. He said, he said, this is my mama number. Okay. My sister number. Okay. My cousin Pam number. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. You're holding hands in the park shit. Yeah. I was just telling my, my uh, Jasmine that to this earlier. Man, listening to Charlie Wilson, I tell you, my, my boys, they young men. They listen to Charlie Wilson. You hear me? And when I say I got the best, best, like, young men in the world, man, you can't tell me different. You know, because they so, they know how to treat a woman. Mm -hmm. they, they, they open the door for you. I had a lady... Write me on Instagram on how much she loved my son and wish my son and her daughter can get married. Oh, wow. No lie, no cap. I ain't gonna... Oh, no, you did your thing. I'm Trying for to real. Arrange that okay. marriage. I got some good men. I got some good men. My other son, he just had to call his other girl parents to come get her because she didn't want to leave him. I did that, too. I, I actually dropped her back off at the house. They some real. Hey, he, I think I'm, long, I'm yeah. raising husband, and I tell my son. I used to say this all the time. Only thing you gonna need a bitch to do is lay down. Oh, oh that's right. I tell them that. Only thing you gonna need a bitch to do is lay down. They know how to cook. My boy know how to clean, and they know how to provide. Okay. Yeah. Talk that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I be real when I say if you can't do that for her, leave her alone. Damn. Nigga. Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay. And when you say do something for him, what, what does it mean? Provide for her. Oh, shit. Don't be with that lame ass shit with this this worldly stuff. Oh, okay. I fuck a bitch. I don't give a bitch. Man, that shit lame as hell. Okay. It is. Yeah. I had my dad in my life. My okay. daddy take care of every woman he ever been with. And okay. it's been a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you hear me? I see you some more. But my daddy treat me like royalty. Okay. And I want my boys to know that. Treat, treat, your, treat your woman like, that's a woman. She she birthed children, nigga. You know, that's what I tell them. I don't teach them to be all oh, fuck a bitch or don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't be in their business and stuff. And I ain't did that part yet. Maybe when I get older and, and coming on, I can retire from coming. I might be out in their business. But they they come to me anyway and they tell me stuff. And I tell them when they wrong. Mm. You know, I be like, nah, shot that shit lame and fuck what you did, bro. Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> You gonna get that, that girl went all out her way and did it for you. You gonna come with that lame that shit, boy. You making me look bad. Hey, I, I love what y'all saying, man. So in closing, man, um, how do, how do we wrap this up, man? What what what's, your, what's the last thought y'all want to leave everybody with on this? Oh, GG. I just feel like breaking generational curses is key. Mm. Right. Facts. I feel like we are. We, we have to lead. We have to lead by example. Okay. And as long as we are leading by example, especially when it comes to our own children, uh -huh. then, you know, we can rest assured that they're going to do the right thing and make the right decision mm. and, and choose the right paths in life. Yeah. You, know, you just got to put it in put it in God's hands and pray about it. Got to pray about it. <laughs> you got to still constantly talk to God when the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. That's what I do every day. I talk to them every day. I do. I, I talk to God and... I don't know what the real is going. I don't. Twenty twenty four has been. January was a rough year alone. January was a rough year. <laughs> <laughs> now with just my life, with just me being on Instagram, and seeing everything that's just going on. It's so on. much happening. You know. Yeah, it is. And, and it's gonna get. Just think that's just January. That's what the it tip. gonna be by the July? Listen, man, y'all better y'all better know God is real. I don't know what you, everybody be like. Y'all gotta see it. They don't see him. They don't know him. They don't feel him. You feel that wind and you don't see it. Yeah. 
God is real, man. Yeah. I, I don't even know what the I don't even know what else to, to say to people. Like, y'all don't believe in God, nigga. <laughs> that is, that is. Yo, Playboy, you wanna got anything in closing? And hey, Jesus. I think that um we should just, you know, come together as a family more often. Um, you know, and that's how we're going to be able to break those curses and build these new generational wealth and, and take us to that new level that we all want to be in because we all came from one thing and we want to go to the next thing. Whether if you came from a, a middle class family and you want to go to an upper class, you came from a poor and you want to go to the middle or wherever you want to go, I think that we just got to stick together a little bit more. And, um, you know, like how y'all said, talk to your children about the same things we were talking about on the last show. Talk to your children about the things we're talking about now. And I think as long as you have that line of communication, you can talk to your kid about anything, whether it's drugs, sex, money, um, okay. you know, uh, relationship advice. <laughs> you should be able to talk to your child about that. And I think that as long as you have that line of communication, everything will be good. Yeah. DJ the Smoke, take, uh, before we go out, you got anything you want to add on to this? God is great. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, let's take some pictures, y'all. God is great. Thank you, Jack. Thank you for having me, Jack. I love you. Yes.